Hey, hey. Hey. I was having a little trouble. For, for a second I'm glad there. you're glad you're here. <laughs> yeah. Like I kept trying <laughs> to log on and it kept you know, it kept throwing me off. Uh-huh. So yeah, yeah. So um so what's going on? Everything's good? I I'm I'm feeling a little bit better with the vaccination out and and with them very close to stimulus passing the stimulus. You know, uh-huh. I feel so sorry for all these people that don't have, you know. Right, right. Okay. I know. I know. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's crazy. It's it's crazy, you know. We really need to get past this, you know. Quick. Let me pop in this intro real quick so that way people know what's up. Hey, what's up and welcome to Freestyle Lives on Stereo, new platform where we come together to discuss various topics regarding the freestyle music scene, where it's been, where it's at, and most important, where it's going. If you're not already following us, please do so now so that you never miss an episode. And today's episode is uh, Freestyle Music, new artists welcomed. New artists welcomed. What do you think about that topic? That is- such a great topic now this has been a crazy topic for a very long time now i've had my hands in uh, with a lot of new artists in the past Mm -hmm. i've done many things to try to help them out and i still do you've even done compilations done compilations i've uh did the the well the magnificent beatles wasn't really new artists even though there were some that were new that were on it um yes but um but uh yeah but um hmm but you know new artists in in general um with freestyle in particular it's a real weird situation because we get different um it's it could be a bit controversial you know we get we get i right. I've heard uh, well, so many- you know there are artists that are welcoming there are artists that are welcoming and there are artists that are not welcoming well, you know what's so funny is honestly, maybe because they haven't said it, but I've never. Let me let me make sure before I open my mouth. I have never heard of any artists, established established artists, welcoming any new artists. Have you? Not saying no. that that's a bad thing. It could be that it's no. just not in their mind. It's not something. But I haven't. I haven't. I haven't seen that. Now I could be Not wrong. Not something to think about. Right. However, vice versa. I have heard of artists, established artists, having something to say about new artists. Having they believe. First of all, first of all, let's go back. What, in your opinion, for freestyle? We're talking about freestyle. What do you consider new artists? Because I've heard someone of people that never, have, huh? Someone who's never released a record, uh, you know, who wasn't in the business, who decided to get into the business right now and they release a record. That's a new artist. That's a new artist. Okay. Right. Okay. So do does that or, in order for them or to, someone or uh-huh. someone or someone who never released records in the heyday of freestyle? Never released records in the heyday. Right. Well, they're not I mean, the original artists. They weren't around, you know, at the beginning. If you started okay. in the late '90s, if you started in the late '90s, 2000, you're not an old school freestyle artist. All right, but we're not talking about old school freestyle. We're not doing that old school, new school. That's not that. This that's not. The, you I'm just asked about, me what do I consider. You just asked no, no, me. No. What do I consider? Right. Hold up. You just asked me what do I consider a new artist. I'm explaining what I consider a new artist. Okay. Okay. You may not okay. feel the same way, but that's what I can say. Right, right. No, no. Are. What I'm saying is I'm not saying old school, new school. I'm not talking about I didn't say you who... were saying that. I'm I'm differentiating between the two. But I, I I don't think it has one has anything to do with the other. I don't think a new You just school... asked me you just asked me what I'm... I can a new school artist. So listen to what Someone I'm saying. Someone who was not excuse me. What I'm saying is I don't think that if a if an artist comes out today, a brand new artist, I don't even consider that artist a new school artist. Like I don't, I don't have that. 
that new school, old school thing, I don't know, just doesn't, it doesn't sit with me. It doesn't, that's not, I don't feel that that's the definition of any new artist. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. That's your opinion. Because what, because what they're doing, this is what's happening, right? So you're getting somebody acts like you said, no, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. What you said was artists who were not, didn't blow up in the heyday that might have put records out that might have put records out in the, you know, in the late 90s or, or 2000s. And they're, they're out there, they're doing their thing, they're doing some shows here and there, they're putting out singles and they, they're doing the things. We see them all the time on Facebook. Those are not okay, new Okay, now artists. why do I consider them? Now, you didn't, I wanna answer this. Why I consider them new school artists? Because they call themselves new school artists. Right, 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 right. So if that's what you wanna, if that's what you right. wanna be called, I'm gonna, right. <laughs> you know what I'm okay. Okay, so you're going by, okay, I see you. So it's basically like their self claim is what they're, you're going by, that's by their, the title that's there. Their, yes, absolutely. Okay. All right, I got you. Just like oh, we, now, we, Monica, old school freestyle. We are old school freestyle, absolutely. Okay. okay. And original, we are original freestyle artists and old school freestyle artists. <clears throat> right, okay. So now, all right, let's, let's, let's look at how we, look how we define it. And then let's go, you know, hip hop is our sister genre. It's our sister genre. We can, we can take a lot. They, they, they run a lot of parallel, but let's use them as an example. Cause we have no other models, but with hip hop. But you know what, you know what about hip hop? They don't call themselves new hip hop artists. They call themselves, right. they have old school and regular. That's it. Right, right, right. You see now, doesn't that to you, to you, does that make sense? Absolutely, but if they want right. to call themselves new school artists, I'm going to say who I think are new school artists by what they okay. call themselves. Got you. Okay. I see what you're saying. But they can just call themselves freestyle artists. Right. So, all right. So what about just artists that one day, today we don't hear about them. Tomorrow they pop up. They're on Facebook. They have a new record out. They're, you know, they have somebody behind them. They're being pushed. Maybe they put some t-shirts. They did this. They're out there. They try and do their thing. We never heard of them. Put on the record. You know, it's a good record. A lot of the records are good records. Um, people, people don't understand that, you know, a hit record is more than good. Mm -hmm. There's something, there's something magical about it. Right. That's what makes it. That's what makes it. All, a, a, a all of the stars aligned when it yeah, was recorded. Yeah, because yeah. there's a lot of good records. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of good records, and sometimes, and sometimes those records are not like the best production or you know the best singers. Or sometimes it's just like you said, the the, the planets, everything aligned, and it was just something. It was the perfect sound, the perfect rhythm, the perfect. BPMs, a perfect the artist, perfect a perfect artist for look, that song. everything lined up. Yeah, you know, and and I don't. Well, I haven't seen, I haven't seen that in a while, and I like to figure this out. I like to figure out, you know, and this is the thing. Sometimes we keep doing the same thing. We've been doing it for years. There's been new freestyle but, artists, but you forgot one thing. You forgot one thing. What? It can be a great song. Planets aligned, everything's perfect. If it doesn't have the right marketing, it's gonna go nowhere. Okay. So do you think I'm like a, do you think a bullshit song to blow up because from of good from good marketing? Yeah, I think bullshit artists can blow up with good marketing. Really? What about Absolutely. the don't you? I yeah, think anything can blow up with the right marketing. Okay, but but longevity is is then uh but Sacrifice those are two different place. things. Those are two different okay. things. Right. So that makes you know? sense. And, 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 and blow I, up. I, I could. So what? Something can blow up and be a, 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 what is it called? A flash in the pan? A flash in the pan. Yeah. You know, it's there for a yeah. minute. It blew up. It did what it had to do, made its money, and then it's over. That's it. So that's, that's called a one hit wonder. That's called right, a one was, hit wonder. Right. So that's where I was going to go with that because I was going to say, yeah. so, you know, that's, I guess that's, that's the situation with a lot of the so called one hit wonders everything lined up right. for them at that moment the marketing right. because then you there, some of them also had really really great songs and like everything lined up and then all of a sudden we don't hear from them anymore right 
what do you think what do you think happened marketing i mean you you listen you've been around a lot of these artists you've performed with let's say uh jermaine stewart incredible artist right you've done shows with him right right big right. huge record how big was that right. record huge huge then right that's it that's it you know he passed away <laughs> Yeah, I know he passed away, but okay. he didn't pass away. That's not what, I don't think that's what killed the record. I don't think that's what killed his career. I, I think, think that was, I think that he, I think it was with him. I think it was that he pursued other things. Oh, that's okay. what happened with him. He actually pursued other things. Okay. I okay. think he, if he would have kept recording, yeah, he would have right. had a hit after hit. And he so, was, and he had a great look. He had a different right. look. He had a different sound. Right. He was a right. character. You know, no, okay. I, I definitely okay. about other hits. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, yeah. so there's a good chance that artists go through all this. They have this dream. This is what I, I could see. I could see this happening. So you have an artist mm -hmm. who comes up. They have this huge dream. They go mm -hmm. all out. This is all they can do. They do what they got to do. They blow up. And then all of a sudden, they sort of lose interest. How possible is that? Um... I don't think it's so much as lose interest. I think some people just get into other things. They can have a hit record and um, decide they want to be in movies and get a great role and just become actresses. Do you, or they you can don't go think... and have a child and 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 they don't want to work anymore because they want to raise that child and be there. I think it can be a lot of things. So you don't think um, an I... artist? You don't think an artist can blow up and that basically scratched their itch and now they're good? And they're done. Yeah, that too. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Or, or they could be disillusioned with the business because people think the business is one way. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Then they get that hit record and they're out there like, wow, this is like not yeah. what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. And they forget like they it think is, it's all it, glitz it, and glam and partying. Yeah. And yeah. yeah no, not if you're serious yeah. about your craft, it's not all yeah. glitz and glam and partying. Yeah. Yep. Especially those artists who are trying to also handle their own business. See, that's right. the toss up. You can you can handle your whole own business and burn out or just do shit wrong, or you could take a piece of your money and share it and have others run that for you. You know? Right. So But you, you know, know what? Nowadays, going back to going back to what they call the new artist, right? Okay. Uh-huh. You also have those ones that just have a bad attitude. Like they think that because they put out a freestyle record, everybody should go and run and buy, buy that record. What if you don't like that record? Right, right. I agree. Which, I which agree. should go for even uh, uh, the original freestyle artist. Absolutely. You can't just force people to buy what you record. <coughs> what if they don't Absolutely. like it? You know, Absolutely. what if they love do, it? Just don't have, yeah. What if they love it, but they just don't have the money to buy it? Listen, I can support an artist. Enough? I can support an artist. I can support their team. I can support their hustle. Doesn't mean I'm gonna buy their shit. I might not like their music, but I might have a level of respect right. for their hustle that really, really right. freaking is, is inspiring. You know? Yeah. I think. I yeah. think. Uh, yeah. I. 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 Yeah. I totally. I totally agree. You know? I say. I see people. You or, know? Online. Or, I or. Or. Or I might just love it. I might just love it, but I still ain't gonna buy it. But I'll help you and I'll support you and I'll let people know you have that record out. Right. 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 You yeah. know, Supporting, so even if I don't buy it, yeah. I might get 20 people to right. buy it for you. Yeah, there's you know there, what I'm right. There's there's different there's different versions of support. There's definitely Absolutely. different versions. Yeah, you know, because I can support by even speaking on putting it on a blog, mention it here right. on the podcast, you know. So there's different levels of 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 supporting the record. Cause you'll get a lot of people who will go on their Facebook and say, I got three thousand friends and I sold six CDs. And they'll get right. really upset and they'll get bitter and they want to start deleting people and and, right. and that's the and, and I think a lot of them just don't know. They don't get it. They don't have anyone to really be in their ear and say, hey, listen, you know what? Okay, you know, maybe that says something. Go back to the studio and spit out something else. Let's do it again. And if that one don't yeah, work. Yeah, but you know what? Even if they didn't buy it, if people are bumping it and people like it, you could still end up getting shows. Yeah. Because people like you as an artist. So don't go yeah. by how many CDs you sold. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Or how many downloads you sold. You can yeah. still become an icon in this in freestyle music. Just because right. the just because fans love you. Right. And those so, promoters right. might 
people hire you because those fans love you and they know right. they'll come to see you perform whether right. <coughs> excuse me <coughs> whether they bought right. it or not yeah yeah you, know, you drink some of this tea i hope i'm not coming down with something <clears throat> the babies weren't feeling too good this morning hey so so now now we've had other artists who have yeah. spoken out who have spoken out about um who have spoken out about um new artists releasing inferior product being thrown on stage um I remember Stevie had a whole thing about that. I don't really agree. I think I did a, a vlog on it also. Um I understood where he I heard, understood where he was coming from with it. I don't know if that was the right way of presenting it, what he was trying to say. Um I have my own views uh -huh. on that, but you know, what do you think about right. that? So these artists and you know, we've all hear it. Especially with uh, among the A-list uh community that that you know, basically are always together. We hear it backstage, you know. Yo, you know, too much too much garbage, you know, this there too much garbage being put out there. Da, da, da. You know, what do you what is your thoughts with that? What do you think about that? My thoughts are any type of music has a shitload of garbage being put out. Nobody complains right. about it. Why are you complaining about it? Do so you what? do that, you feel that your garbage? You, right. Do you feel that that will that could hurt us? That hurt the genre at all? Why could that hurt anything? Right. There was garbage being put out back in the day. Right. Right. You just know, any type to, of music just has, people you have, have to pay a lot more money. Coming out, you have great yeah. stuff coming out, you have garbage coming out. Yeah, you know, that's the thing is that back in the days, you had to pay a lot more money to put that garbage out. Now, you can sit in your house and put that garbage out, like, constantly. That's so, I should say, say called so-called garbage, because I don't like to call anyone's art garbage. <laughs> I'm just using, I'm just using a term that I've heard thrown around. I don't, I definitely don't want it. I don't want to use that term. Number one, I, I feel that, you know, I feel that, you know, you know, and I, I wrote in my post, you know, I feel that art in any case is subjective. What you know we what? love, what we love, someone else might hate and vice versa. Art is subjective. You know, some people like my book. Art some is, people that's what I'm saying. Slow. That's what I'm right. saying. Just because yeah. it's garbage to that one artist, maybe it's not garbage to the fans. Or maybe right. it's not garbage to the other artist. And sometimes I really believe and, that But sometimes... this is the thing I've noticed. Can I say one thing? Can I say one thing? This is the thing I've noticed. A lot of these artists are ready to talk about that, about their being garbage all that, but say one thing about anything they've put out. Say one thing about anything they do. They can't take it. They can't take the criticism, the constructive yeah. criticism, They, but yeah. they can criticize other people. Right. Well, that, that goes with anything almost. You know, people are fast to criticize but they can't take it what they say don't don't give it if you can't. don't ditch it if you can't what can't take it dish it, don't, dish you know, it. Yeah. whatever <laughs> dish it yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever but, um, you know what I'm saying yeah I mean that goes with everything right. you know that goes with that's yeah. you know you know people can uh critique other 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 but you know a lot of this material but you know music, what I, I, I'm I'm, a, I'm the type of person that if that's your art and that's what you feel you want to express go ahead I if I don't like it, I don't have to listen to it. Right. But I, I don't agree. have to talk people. But you know, you know, this is the thing, right? So, and then check this out, all right? So, we get a lot of artists that come in. I'm talking about now new artists. We didn't hear about them last week. This week, they're put, you know, they got, you know, they're putting the pressing CDs. They are on Spotify. They filmed the video. They're doing the next show, next freestyle explode, not explosion, because uh, Alan's funny about that. But they'll be on one of these other, you know, concerts from one day to the next. From one day to the next. What are your thoughts about that? How do you feel about that? I feel if that promoter wanted to put them on his show, go ahead. Right. I have no problem with it. Right. I, I really agree. have no problem with that. I have right. no problem with who they want to put on their shows. Now, I have now, no problem now, like, with new artists. I have is... no problem with new artists going on and performing. Right, right. I have no problem with it. You know what I have a problem with it though? When mm -hmm. it's a big show and they have these new artists doing 50 songs and then it gets to the end of the show <laughs> and we have to somehow figure out how to cut our show down and yeah. the fans are getting upset. But yeah, that's, that's, but that's what I have in, a problem with it. But that's inexperienced promoters. That time management. That's when I have a problem with it. If you want to yeah. put new artists, make sure the timing is right. 
Yeah. And and if they're going over their time, pull the fucking plug on them. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I think. Shabby, pull the plug on. Well, them. yeah. Well, you know that doesn't you know, fly. I've had big... so many experiences like that that I have to have a show that's five minute, ten minute, fifteen minute, twenty. Minute, you know what I'm saying? A fucking twelve minute show because we never know how much time we have when yeah. they make those kind of problems. You know. Right. When they don't. Right. You know what I'm saying? The time right. management is off. Right. But again, again show. going back. Yeah, I don't care who they have. They can have yeah. 50 people perform. But if you know you only have 50 minutes for them, tell them each one minute, and then I'm going to pull the plug. One minute. Just like, you know how just how they do the Greek theater? That they have yeah. that timer, and you better get they off the stage? It. They all have it. Yeah, Alan has it. Bobby has it. They all have it. They, they, a lot. We just don't see it, but it's there because I have to deal with the promoters. And they let us know. And the, the, you know, the reason being But you is, know what? I'm I, always on time. If you tell me that's the show you want, that's the show I give you. You know, the, you know the penalty for some of the big concerts are like $3,000 a minute. For every minute Well, I that wouldn't the know show, because I don't go over the timing. Right. I know because the promoters have to tell me this. But that's why I'm saying I throw that back at the promoters. The promoters need to be on that. But that's another topic. I'll de- I could always deal with that. I've always but wanted to I'm deal saying, with that. Yeah, you're telling me, do I right. have a problem with new school artists performing? Never. Right. Just right. as long as the time No, no, I didn't say, time. do you have that's a problem? It. I said, I want to know your thoughts on it. I don't. I didn't I didn't ask you if you had a problem. I know you didn't have a problem. Listen. I want to know your, listen, how you looked at it. I don't have a problem with anybody expressing themselves. I don't want to be the one to stop somebody from pursuing their dreams. And if that promoter wants to let that person perform, go ahead. And plus, you know, I might enjoy it because you want to know why? They're not jaded. They're so excited to be on that damn stage that they put on the best damn show that they possibly can. They put on a floor show. You know, most of the time they put on a floor show. So I enjoy it. They're not some of these artists that are, are, um, you know, and there aren't too many of them. Most artists like getting on stage, but you have every once in a while that artist, oh my God, I just want to hurry up. Yeah. Oh my God, oh, can yeah. I do less songs? Oh my God, oh, yeah. oh my God, oh my God. Yeah, I get that all the time. You know? Hey man, you think you could uh, get my, my show cut down to seven minutes? I'm like, what? You know, And these people, you? people, you know, they want <laughs> uh-huh. to be on stage. So they yeah. make every moment count. So I don't so have now, a problem with them. So now one of the other, one of the other issues that you know I hear a lot in the in in the in the market is is um with in in in, in regards to the age of new artists a fifty a new artist who's fifty do you is there what do you see well, how do you look at that I have how no problem with that, that either because I'm gonna tell you why. Because one of the musics I grew up on was salsa, and you could be any age putting something out. If it's good, people are going to buy it. And if it's good, people are going to go and see you perform. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So what do you... So I feel the same way. So what do you say to these artists? Because, you know, I see it out there. I see them. I've seen people post, which is kind of cruel, where they'll say, oh, how are you a new, new artist when you're like 50 years old? You know? I mean... What do you, what, you know, what would you have to say? Listen, what, what would you say I see to these people, artists? I see people posting, posting about any of the artists. You're 50 years yeah. old. Why are you still on stage? So, yeah. you know, it's just, that's just people that want to talk some shit, basically. Yeah, right. That's well, that's going to happen. Like, well, that, well yeah, and that's, but that's social media and that's what we got to deal with from now on. So, right. so it's so, an important topic. Don't pay it no mind. Have to, so don't pay right. it no mind. That's so just a hater. Is, how easy is that? How easy is it? You know it what? It's real easy for me now. I would say, in, ever since I went through everything I went through, you know, from mm-hmm. what, almost 20 years ago, I would say the last 15 years, nobody mm-hmm. can say it's going to hurt my feelings. Because right. if I don't know you, I have no feelings for you. So I don't care what right. you say. And right. I think that everybody else should, should, Listen, pay attention to the people that love you. You waste right. your time paying attention to the people that don't love you. You don't have time for the people that do love you. Get it? Right. Yeah. Yep. And half the time, hey. those people are frustrated artists. Mm-hmm. You know? Or they got some yeah. type of vendetta towards you and you don't even remember them. Yeah. Could have been somebody from the second grade that has a problem with you and you didn't even realize it. Yeah, they were online for the autograph and suddenly they got cut short because the promoter needed to end But that it. doesn't happen with me. Well, yeah, the promoter might cut it short, but I'll never cut that's it short. That's what I'm saying. No, no, I'm saying that. No, the promoter, I know that. No, the yeah, promoter, yeah. that's what I'm saying. The promoter's cut it. It's happened to us too. 
where you know there's still 50 people and we get blamed for that. It was like, but we can't. They, the, pull, the fire department is here. They got to shut down. Right. But, um, right. But yeah. So 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 you have an so you have an older artist who's all right. So l- let me let me let me let me tell you my thought on this for a second, real quick, because mm-hmm. this to me, and it, it's funny because I've always felt this way, but I've never expressed. It. I never really even spoke about it, but. I feel that part of the beauty and, the, and what makes freestyle itself so special is the fact that we have a platform for people who still have dreams. Mm-hmm. You know, can't does mm-hmm. any play can what what you know what other genre really? That's what of, I said. Of, salsa, you know? salsa, the only other genre where I see them like that. Right now, you know? still today. Right now, still today. Well, salsa really doesn't have anything coming out right now. Basically, okay. yeah. But you know, so yeah, right. But we're, you know, but what I'm saying with freestyle. But even back in the day, you could be any age and put something out, and if it's bumping, it's bumping. Doesn't matter what you look like, it's bumping. So and people so, are gonna love it and they're gonna love you. So right now, you know, right now, people because of the home studio. Okay, I mean, people... remember the guy? I've, I've, I don't always forget his name. And uh, he's such a great artist. The one I say, I like it like that. Yeah, baby. Remember that one? Nueve, nueves. Tito. Is that Tito? That's Tito. Yes, nueves? yes, yes. But anyway, but anyway, yeah. listen. How old was he when that song came out? Yeah. yeah. Wasn't he? Wasn't twenty? He wasn't freaking eighteen. Yeah. yeah. But it was that's a bench track. When that yes, record first, saying. when that record first data. came out. When that record first came, you know where I met him? I met him in our, we went to New Orleans together. When we yeah. did that show, in, when we did that little tour. Such a nice guy, he, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, that's where the first time I ever met him was uh, in New Orleans. And we all hung out in Bourbon Street. It was really cool. But uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. He's, that's a, that's see, and that's yeah. a good. That's you know what that Southside does? Right, and that shows that you, yeah, but yeah, Sasa, but he crossed over. He crossed over. Cause he was no, doing a lot of shows. No, what I'm saying is, it was bumping in salsa before it bumped in. in. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, he did a yeah. lot of songs like that. He did, you know, where right. he would take an English song. Think about it. Yeah, yeah. He would do that whole Spanglish thing. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not. I'm just using that as, a, as an example. But there's plenty of them, not just him. Yeah. When when was the last song that Celia Cruz put out as an older artist, and everybody was on that carnival, right? Carnival. But yeah, yeah, Caribbean, but, but right. But you see, was yeah, that the but, last and, song and, she put out? I, I don't know. I don't know because I didn't really I don't follow know, but her I'm like just that. Saying, she put yeah. out that record. How old was she? Yeah. They still support their older artists. They still welcome artists at any age. That's what I'm trying to right. say about sounds music. Yeah. Fast yeah. freestyle is very similar. Right. So you don't see it being a problem. You know, we get because like now, back in the days, you know, to put a record out was a big deal because you had to go studios, you had to spend money. It cost money. You didn't just go and pop a record out. Now people right. can record a freaking record on their phone. They can they have a freaking right. just apps that are recording studios. They can record it on their phone and put it out if that's what they wanted to do. So now right. people have the luxury of sitting at home and putting out an album a day if that was their desire. Mm-hmm. Do you find that to be a problem for the genre? No, why? If it's good music, it's good music. If it's not, it's not. If it's not, it's gonna fall to the wayside. Right. Right. If it's good, it's gonna be good for the for the for the freestyle music industry. Right? Yeah. Yep. I agree. Anything new, anything good is is good for all of us. Yep. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. And 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 the fact that no matter what, no matter what. They're still using the label and they're still spitting it out and they're keeping it consistent. Yeah, like you said, if people, you know, it's like throwing everything on the wall, see what sticks. I, I'm cool with that. I don't think that that's a problem because, again, I feel that I feel art is subjective. So sometimes we can't create stuff and say, I wonder if people will like this. We can't do that because we don't know. We can think we have the hottest thing in the world that the whole world. Is gonna love it, and guess what? We put it out, and that shit just drops. It falls, right? Falls apart, right? You know, right? So, so, you know, um, you know, so I, yeah, so I'm, I'm definitely a big believer in, you know, in fact, you know, if people have the time and they have the luxury, spit that music out. Why spit, not? Forget the, forget yeah. release dates. Put records out every day if you can. That's what technology yeah. is about right now. It's not right. about oh, well, we're gonna put out, you know, we're gonna have this release date. You know, we're gonna put you know have this release date uh, in December, and 
no man put that record out now put mm-hmm. that there and just keep and just keep spitting them out um yeah, exactly. hey listen so real quick we got we got a few people if you guys are listening please follow us if you are, are not already following us also if you have any questions please feel free to ch- or, or you have any any uh, opinions or ideas that you'd like to you know share with us please just hit the um the microphone down in the middle right there on on hold it down and you can leave a message it's going to go in the order that it's brought in um but we'll love to hear from you so uh, we appreciate everyone tuning in um <clears throat> anyway uh okay okay so so yeah so so my yeah my whole my whole idea is you know and i you know i talk to a lot of new artists sometimes sometimes you've come into the office and you'll see me on the phone i'm on the phone and you're coming later when i'm done you'll be like you was on the phone for a while who was that a lot of times i'll tell you a new artist somebody asking me a million questions which i'm fine i'm fine with it if i have the time um if i have the time uh and and one of the concerns is just that they're concerned about what people are thinking, about what people are posting, and here are people that we're telling to support. We're asking people to support the genre, yet they go and they're spending all this time and energy to release something, and then it's getting it's getting crushed by mm-hmm. words, by words. Mm-hmm. And you know, and you know, I want people to know. I, I really would love this podcast to kind of get to some of the new artists out there or those considering to give it a shot to realize that you know you know we support it we we think it's we think it's a great idea and we're always Absolutely. willing to if, we, if there's anything we can do to help um no I can't put you on the big concerts like that it doesn't work like that but I could tell you how you can eventually get there you know I could tell right. you what people what people are looking for um you know I, I try to tell people there's, there's no overnight, you know, that whole overnight success doesn't, it looks like it's overnight, it's not, <laughs> you know? So sometimes it, it t- takes people 10 years to be an overnight success, you know? So- well, you know um, what, people always, people think that. When I say, I got into the group and a year later, Show Me was released, they think, oh, okay, well, it was a year for her. No, it wasn't a year for me. I was in the business since I was eight years old. Yeah, yeah. So it was 10 years before I had a record. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. I was actually in business since I was eight years old. Yeah. Yeah. And, the, and, and, you know, and the hustle that came with it, but you know what, there was a passion. So of course, right. it didn't seem, right. it didn't, you know, and, and that's, that's the important thing. You know, anybody who's, that's why, you know, I can't see myself crushing. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I hustled. I sang for anybody who would listen. Yeah. And you know, that's another thing. That's one thing I want to tell any artist. When people ask you to sing, and you make up a million excuses and don't sing, it's not a good look. If you yeah. really, really want to be that artist and that singer, you'll sing anywhere in yeah. front of anyone. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I yeah. agree. And and now, you know, this is the beauty too. You know, we have social media. Now, social media is not about just put a post on Facebook and hope it does well. Most likely it's not. Good chance it's not gonna do well. The key is to keep it consistent. Keep doing it. Be in everybody's face. Just keep putting mm-hmm. the stuff out. You know, Facebook is full mm-hmm. of groups. Join those groups. Be yeah, I was just gonna with, say that. Aren't there like million freestyle groups? Yeah. Be careful with spamming. Spamming doesn't come across. Don't don't tag. You know, seventy nine. No, I'm, I'm saying I'm saying what? join them. Join join those right. groups and and get into conversations with everybody right. there. You don't exactly. always have to. You don't always have to. Um, um, you know, you don't always have to 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 put out something. Right, right. Just get you get know, start getting to know everybody. So when when you do put out things, nobody's right. gonna mind because yeah. they all know you. We we'll all become yeah. friends with you. Right, right. Look at the market. Look at what people are doing. Realize that you know if you're doing the same thing everyone else is doing, and you've been doing the same thing for 15 years, try to be innovative. Come up with something new. To figure out something. This is, listen, music and entertainment. There's nothing that's crazy. <laughs> Nothing's crazy. Right. You know, what's crazy is not thinking outside the box. You have to mm-hmm. constantly, constantly be, you know, think I, I come up with some really, really crazy ass shit, you know, and, and I have to sit down for a while and give it a shot. And it was always those things that I've tried in the past that, you know, that did well, that did well. 
because and they if they didn't do well they stood out i have a lot mm -hmm. of projects i've worked on that weren't that successful but everybody knew about them right. everybody knew about it you know and that was a certain level of yeah. consistency and really understanding the people I, I i don't i don't try to spam people or tag 100 people on my post you know if it's meant for them to see if they're going to see it if i can keep it consistent they will and people will look at that you know but you know any of yeah. any any of those any of those new artists who are out there right now you know yeah we it's a it's an open invitation if you have a manager you know get on a three way with the manager like i said i'll tell you what i know i don't know it all but i've been doing it long enough and i i've i have a certain level of success so and i have no problem sharing this with you guys <laughs> But uh, you know no what? That's what I love about you. That's what I love about you. You do it with no strings attached. Yeah, no strings attached because you know why? Everybody has something, you know, and that's, you know, there's always some sort of string attached. You know, mm -hmm. and and you know, and that's that that's that that can hurt the entire genre. You know, if people want you to be involved with something that they're doing, they they'll 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 pull you in. Other than that, you know, sometimes I have my own thing. Sometimes there's only so much I can't I can't work with you one on one. I can't because I'm working on something else. But shoot, it doesn't take much for me to sit down 20 minutes and try to kind of hear what you and try to give my advice. Doesn't mean you have to take it, but at least it gives you something else a little bit more unbiased to think about. You know what I mean? But You're you know, not if wonder people wonder what do we get out of this? Um if freestyle is successful, then we're all successful. Yes. If yes. freestyle music genre is successful, we are all <clears throat> successful. Yeah. Now, yesterday we spoke about the youth in freestyle, bringing in youth. Mm -hmm. But today we're not talking about that. Today we're talking mm -hmm. about something that's actually currently happening. New artists constantly coming mm -hmm. in, you know, and I right. hope a lot of new artists, you know, I wish they would hear this. I would have loved to have gotten, you know, new artists to get onto this podcast and to get well, into this you know conversation. What? You know what? If, if anybody listening knows any new artists, tell them to come in. You know, even if they don't make it right now for this show, they can listen back to the show. Right. And they can right. come on tomorrow. You know? Yes. Yeah. And if they have any questions, we'd love to answer their questions. Right. Right. Yeah. You know, because I don't know what their concerns are. I don't, you know, right. uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if there's a particular thing that's happening that's kind of messing them up and it might be something that's happening to a lot of them that it we that we don't know about so you know right. i would love to i would love to hear what that is because you know what it could be it could be hurting them and we might be able to we might have the answer to that we might be able to fix that you know but um you know i don't want anybody to to stop dreaming you know i i don't right. want anybody yeah you know, i want i want to see i want this this genre to be about that really I think it, I think it's a beautiful thing. I, I want to see people who have always wanted to sing and wanted to be an artist their whole life. And you know what? Just because they're 40, 50 years old and they come into freestyle, that dream has not ended. You still have that that chance. Yes, so, and that's none what we can be known for. Dreams, none of my dreams have ended. I wake up yeah. every day saying, you know, I could be whatever I want to be. Right. Right. You know, God will, and then God willing, my body. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But my mind is sharp. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 But I have yeah, the you know, be yeah. and do anything I want to be or do. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, a lot mm -hmm. of the, the new artists that I've met at, at, at venues, a lot of them have been some of the nicest people. You know. Right. Very appreciative. Very. You know. And you look at them and you're like, wow. You know what? You know. Pfft, you know, you should be getting yours. You should, and you know what? A lot of the times we don't give the songs a chance. Every once in a while, not all the time, because I get too many. But I'll get a song that I just, just for some reason, popped up. Somebody sent it, or I saw it, and I would click on it, and I'll just kind of do something else and vibe on it. Next thing you know, I'm like, wow, it's actually a really good song. And sometimes the songs that aren't that good, it's not. Sometimes it's an incredible lyrics, but but the, but but the production is kind of like. You know, it, it's it, it's a bit inferior. You know, as far as I'm concerned, you know, it just it just doesn't sound. If we if we put you on stage with another artist, it, people are going to notice the difference because of the quality. You know, so sometimes it's mm -hmm. that. Sometimes it mm -hmm. sometimes it's not the overall package. Sometimes it's a thing. Sometimes it's a thing. You well, know? maybe they need somebody to tell them that. You know, so maybe they should reach right. out to people like you that are willing. Right. 
to yeah. talk to them and let them know what it is. Right. Because they one can, thing they can't I will talk. say about you, one thing I will say about you, you have no hair on your tongue. You will tell somebody exactly yeah, the way and it I, is. I get in, and I get in trouble for it from you most of the time. Oh my God, I want to kill you sometimes, but you know what? <laughs> then I think about it. Then I think about it. I say, you know what? He's right. <laughs> you know, I step yeah. back and I, and I think about it. <laughs> and I say, you know sometimes. what? Let me try it. But you know what? I always try it your way. Don't I do that? I always yeah. try it but, your but, way. But it's funny because sometimes, you know, you know, we're talking, we'll have a discussion and it's like, we'll have just a discussion here or it'll be in person. Or so we get, you're like, why the hell did you tell them that? I'm like, what do you mean? You didn't have to say, I'm, but what, what was I going to say? I don't want to, I don't want to lie to them. I don't want to, you know, we're too old to freaking. It's almost like, you, you know what it's like? It's like you took that truth serum. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not really that. This is what it is. Really. This yeah. is what it is. Listen, it, listen. I no, will not. What... I will not get dressed and ask you, "Do I look fat?" Okay, it will never happen. <laughs> no, I've learned my lesson there. I don't. I don't. I wait till after the what? show. What? What? Because then you threaten get me. You say, well, I'm not gonna do the show. Then I'm not doing the show. <laughs> I'm like, well, you gotta do the show. I signed the contract. You gotta do it. <laughs> so I, tell you, I You're such a liar. Time. You're such a liar. I will always do this. I never threaten to not do it. Stop no, playing. No, you'll know, you'll know because after it's the fun. show, you'll be like, yeah, so that was good. I said, yeah, yeah, don't don't wear those pants again. What, what, what do you mean? What's but wrong don't with them? Say, I, would, I would never, I would never not do a show. <laughs> no, I know I'm playing with you. <laughs> but uh, but listen, um, let, let me check these messages real quick. All right, man. Well, I'm a new artist, so that made mm -hmm. me come in here and just sit and listen to what y'all got to say because, you know, I really don't know the game. You know, I do have a manager. You know, I've been on stage one time. Uh, you know, I understand that it's not an overnight excess and all that. So, you know, I'm just sitting here listening and vibing, trying to get all the information I could get, you know, maybe pass it on to somebody else. Absolutely, man. And we, we appreciate you for listening. Yeah. And if you have any questions and, you know, the whole thing is to be patient, to be patient, really focus on your craft. Get about anyone else. Uh, the, the difference with nowadays, there's no more formula. Back in the days, you had to kind of, we come from way back in the days, like the 80s. Back then, you had to follow a formula in order for, to get a deal or to get some sort of, now there's no formula. Now, you could basically sit back and whatever comes to you as an artist, put that shit out there as is. As is. You want to bring I can, a I can bet you track. one thing. Bring, what? I, I can bet you one thing. What? He's only been on stage once, and I can bet you that it was so addictive that he can't wait to get on stage again. Probably. You know what Probably. I'm saying? It becomes yep. so addictive yeah. that you just want to get on stage again. You want to you want to express yourself, and it's great that you have a manager. That's a great mm -hmm. thing. That's a wonderful it's a point thing. To for, make sure you know. I don't know the level of management because a lot of people bring and not not saying you, but a lot of people bring in management. That's that's their brother, their uncle. They really don't know the business. So make sure that your manager knows and you and you that you know this business. Pick up books. You got well. It's internet. great that he's tuning. In. He's tuning into people who've been in the business for over thirty years. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. And and if you just so you know, just a, a little uh, 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 reference here. Uh, the music that we we're involved with is called freestyle music. It's a Latin dance. Uh, they originated in the urban Latino areas of like New York City and the Bronx and so on, um, and then expanded. Uh, it, it started out in the 80s, but right now it's still relevant. We still do huge concerts throughout the country. It's a huge. These artists have all been on all the major labels you can think of. Um, they've got tons of videos. So just if you want to. Billboard you know, charts. Look, yeah, you can look at, We've you know, information. Go on YouTube and, and check out, you know, groups like the Cover Girls, Stevie B, Lisa Lisa, Expose, and so on. And you'll see all everybody else. So just check that out. But thanks for tuning in. Let me check this next message. No. Yeah, I feel you when you say it's no age because I'm 42, but, you know, I always had a skill and, it, you know, life took over first. So I had to go do what life had to do. You know what I'm saying? But now I done got to a, a plateau where it's OK. Now what? You know what I mean? OK, now it's time to go do what I need to do for myself, you know, leave my legacy. So I do feel you that it's never too late. And, you know, nobody's going to make the words you make. You know what I mean? The words right. you say is going to be uh, based on what you felt, what you've gone through, your experiences. Right. So it's always good to just put that out there just so it might help somebody else or, Absolutely. you know, be a comfort for what somebody else is going through. 
You got it. Yeah, you hit on the head, bro. And you know what? This is the beauty. Now, back in the 80s, maybe, maybe even 90s, yeah, your age would have been a problem. Your age would have been a problem. It just, you, you, not impossible, but labels and management and agents, they would look at you and say, okay, yeah, you're too old. We can't really do it. They, what it is is they, they didn't want to take the risk. So you would be walking around basically chasing your tail. That does not exist anymore. You don't need any of these people anymore. You don't need a label. You don't need a manager. You don't need an agent. You don't need a promote. You don't need these people. However, you got to bust your ass. You got to work like you have all these people on your team. You can't, it's not easy, but, but you have the opportunity to now to sit in a little room and create whatever the hell you want to create. And if you're doing it, and if it's honest, if it's really you, and you're really enjoying it, and it's like, you know, fuck, you know, the the, the formula, and, and, and the, and, you know, and you're just doing your art, somebody's going to snatch on. Someone's going to grab onto what you're doing, and that's how that shit starts to build. So start today, man. If you didn't raise up, start today. Start putting out product. You got unlimited distribution that was always the hardest part of the business who see if a label signed you when a label signed it now the label might like you however they know their distributor the distributor might want you because they'll be like well what we're gonna do where we're gonna put this guy where we're gonna where we're gonna put him what shelf do we have for the old guys we don't have that shelf you know what i mean the oldies but goodies you know that doesn't exist anymore now we got unlimited distribution we don't need them you got youtube and facebook and TikTok and every other platform utilize that look at other artists and see how they're utilizing it don't just try to think you know what you're doing look at some of the people you follow and see what they're doing and go do the same thing copy them copy them more so like model them don't copy them model them so good luck with that good luck <clears throat> But uh, but yeah, see, but but you know, there you go, there you go, exactly so what we were talking hear, about. So did you hear? You just gave some great advice. You right. You just Why really, get cut off? I bet you can run with this now. You know, and and sometimes you just need that advice. You just need that push, and for people yes. to tell you this is what you have to do. Right. You know. Right. And you know, I would love for him to check back. You know, next month or in a couple Definitely. months or check whatever. Back. And let, and give us, us, a, give us an update. <laughs> you know, give us and, and, and tune and, in. Sh- tune in every day. You never know. We might, you know, be saying something that you need yeah. that day. Yeah. Listen, or people, you may we, have yeah, a question we, that you want to ask. I, yeah, our livelihood is based on freestyle music. You know, classic Latin freestyle music. But you know what? The same the same advice goes for it. Whether you do a hip hop, R and B, rock, gospel, it does not matter. It's pretty much the same, well, the same I mean, layout. It's the you same. deal with all of those genres because you book oh, you book old school hip hop, you book nineties R and B, so you actually deal with all right. the different genres. Right. Not right. only that, never, you started right. out in a you had a printing plant, so you printed all of these hip hop records, so you knew their formula. You knew exactly yeah. how to get into hip hop, how not to get out plant, there. Man. It's, a, it's a record manufacturing plant. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> There's a record, ma- sorry. Ma- record 12 inch manufacturing plant, but it's okay. At you least got, I didn't say I, you worked in the ma- at least I didn't say you worked in the mail room. Yeah, for I did that too. <laughs> too. I did that too. <laughs> Actually, when I worked at Metropolitan, I did it all. My bad. I was like, yeah, but I'm I saying you worked with all different genres of music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're able yep. to help people in all different genres of music. Yeah, <clears throat> to the very least, at least advise you, at least put you on the right track, you know, at least put right. you on the right track. And, and and I might I might even say, OK, listen, I can put you on this track. But when you go a little further, you won't have to do this research. This is what I would do, you know, and go into that. You know, listen, I wish right. I had nothing else to do but sit back and be a, be an artist. I wish I had nothing else to do but sit back and be an artist. Oh, my God. Like, you know, if I had the means, if I had you know, the facility and I have the talent to sit there and just, you know, write and play and then sing or rap or what. Oh my God. Like, but wow, you know what? This is crazy. You absolutely are doing that because you're writing books. You just released three books. books. Right. But uh, do I wish I could just sit down and write? And I, do I can no, see do you no. in the future. I can see you in the future doing some soundtracks for some of your books. And I can see you recording the soundtracks because you could sing and you could rap. And people don't know that. Yep, you know what I'm saying? So I can see and they, 
So yeah, I can see you doing yeah, it all. When you decide that's what you want to do. Right. Yeah. No? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's up mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. Yeah. And well, you know, you I'm know, always really, here to manage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but you know, now we're going to 2021. <laughs> we're going into 2021. You know, I, I really want to sway. I want to sway the, the industry and the genre away from all the negative. Now, people used to look at us towards negative when we have freestyle against phonies. I don't want to get into that because that might be another topic down the line. But, you know, freestyle against phonies, that group page on Facebook was for a reason. But it wasn't a hate group. It wasn't something because we were bitter. No, that was a, a problem in the industry that had to be dealt with. And I couldn't do it alone. That's all that was. And I had to go up against some of the biggest bullies in the industry head to head. And I needed help because I couldn't, I just only had two arms. I couldn't, I couldn't box everybody. So I needed a little help. That's all that was. Other than that, we're very positive when it comes to the genre. We're very encouraging and we're very hopeful. And, you well, know, I we see wish freestyle people... against only as a positive thing. It is. I felt it was shining a light. It was shining well, a light on the industry. On, on, right. on those people who actually weren't the artist, who actually right. didn't create those songs, but they right. were taking the credit right. for all of that. Just like any artist right. right now listening to this podcast right now, anybody listening to mm -hmm. us right now, they create their own songs, they would hate for somebody to take their art and call it their own. Yeah. So yeah, I that think was it the was purpose. Positive, shining that light yeah, and was, letting everybody know. Right. Listen, listen, I everybody right. know who the artists are. That's all we did. See, this yeah. is the thing. I was never a negative person. What I said was, I sang those songs. People took it as negative. Oh, well, you're dissing them. How am I? No, they're dissing me. They're singing my songs and claiming them. I'm just giving, I'm just letting you know that I sang those songs. I've never said anything negative or personal about anybody. All I've said is the truth. And all we've said on Freestyle Against Phonies is the truth. Did it sometimes well, get the... raw with some of the other people? Yeah, some of the other people got raw. They would get angry and let these artists have it. Right. But well, coming thing, from my thing. mouth, coming from coming from my mouth, coming from your mouth was never anything negative. All we did right. was say the facts, Jack. Well, what and was if they couldn't have we were, Jack seeing, we were seeing these concerts that had 12 artists and seven of them were not original artists. And the thing is, those, origi those non-originals wasn't like the originals weren't around. They were around. It's just other people, but you know, other people were uh, were pushing them into the area for their own benefit. But that's another topic. I don't want because we know us. We can do another two hours. No, no, we don't need to talk just about so. that topic. But what I'm saying is, I don't. Right. I just don't consider it negative to no, to no. to let the fans know no. what they're paying for. Right. So, the, but what I was going to try to do, I just use that as an example because people will bring that up. Oh, that was that. What it, what it, you know, but we're very positive with the genre. We're very, very hopeful, positive. which is, Absolutely. which is why we do, which is why we do so much stuff with use. I mean, how am I going to invest so much time into books that are titled freestyle? I use the word freestyle on it for a reason. When we put out the cologne, it was called freestyle. You know, the things that we do, we, we use that term. People used to try to change the name. Oh, let's call it. This is called the new age freestyle. Man, that's all bullshit. Come on, man. New age, all that. This is the new style. That's all crap. First of all, you never mess with people's name. You never me mess with a name. That's the hardest thing to build. The 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 free. Listen, even the big boys know it. That's why Bobby D has the freestyle fest, and that's why you know Alan Beck has the super freestyle explosion, and that's why right. uh, Al Adam Torres does the freestyle extravaganza. Come on, man. Don't mess with the name freestyle. Freestyle is freestyle. Just leave it alone. Build on top of that. Stop trying to change the name. Absolutely. That's the worst thing anybody can do. Create right. and contribute to the name. Contribute to it. Don't try to right. change it. Don't right. try to change it, you know? So Listen, if I know, didn't love freestyle, if I didn't love freestyle, I could stay at home and do what I love to do. Cook. Read every yeah. book and in I the can, world. You know, I can do I all can, of those things that I love to do. But you know what? Yeah. I do love freestyle and I love performing. Yeah. I mean, you've told me a million yeah. times when it got rough sometimes. Listen, you could stay home. You don't have to do this. You know, I'll take care yeah. of you. You know, right. and I made you sign that to take care of me, but I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. 
I made you yeah, put it in writing. Know, but, is, you know. The thing is, that, you know, people. <laughs> I want people to understand the passion we have for it. It's beyond the music. Right. It really is. It has, I have not the music. For it. It's beyond even the artist. It's like, you know, you, you come to our house, you're not going to see Johnny O or, or Stevie B posters hanging on our walls. Not that we don't love them, we love them. But that's not what moves us through the genre. It's the culture. It's, it's what it represents, people. It represents us. Young, it's well, not young loyal, now, but we were the young. Loyal Latino. fans. The, yeah, but Freestyle our, has the most loyal fans. This was if you our think about opposite. It. Yeah, this was ours. We created this. We created mm -hmm. this. And what we can't do is mm -hmm. allow the outsiders, you know, or, or not even the outsiders, but some of the some of the people that to come in and disrupt what we have, what we have here, you know? Everybody's grown mm -hmm. up now, you know? So that's why we I have a sincere, sincere passion for the genre and for anyone interested in any way. If you guys are not into freestyle and you do some sort of other music I I, I I i tell you go do some research look at this genre it's huge don't let anybody say ah oh, i'm an agent i'm on these shows it's huge it's huge trust me you know so anybody those people who say oh that shit is dead i know that's because you live in a rock you live under a rock you don't know what's going on you know let's check these messages What's up, Angel okay. Latif? How you guys doing today? Man, it's cold as hell out here. Speaking of books, I'm on book three, chapter 36, man. I'm loving this book. I'm almost finished with it. Keep the books coming, Latif, man. Keep them coming. I'm glad you guys are having a good day. Thanks a lot, Tommy. Hey, Tommy. I Thank it. you for joining us. So if you went, if you got through book two, that means you went through all the crazy shit. All those, those sex scenes and all that craziness that I've been writing lately. <laughs> hey, anyway, let's see what else is this. There's nothing like the original Cover Girls. I tell you, I went to a freestyle show one day with a friend, and they, he said, look, the Cover Girls are performing. I said, yeah, those are the phonies. He said, how do you know? I said, because Angel's not there. She's the original. Man, psh, best, best girl group in the business. Better than Expose, better than Sweet Sensation, better than Seduction. Cover Girls, number one. Definitely our legends. Thank you, bro. Thank oh, you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's thank you. So yeah, you know what? So who is you know the what? king of freestyle? Is it Stevie B or Johnny O? <laughs> hey, guys, I'm just joking. Um, but that that's something that started a huge negative um, in the genre. <laughs> um, that was, that's too funny, though. Well, let's answer that question. That's actually a good one. I have you? an answer. Do you have an answer, Latif? I, I think it's Stevie B. Absolutely. I think it's Stevie B. Okay. Now listen. And, has, I, love and I love Johnny. Listen, I love yeah, Johnny. I, the, listen, right. he he has the most beautiful daughters. I love his daughters. You know, God bless them. But I mean, let's go by facts. Stevie has a lot of hits. You know, Stevie is the headliner at every concert. So wouldn't that make him the king? Well, this is the deal. The thing is, the thing is, people have titled him that. He ran with it. He ran with it. King uh, Stevie didn't create the title because I remember when people were calling him that. I remember I was booking. I was doing the bookings, and people mm -hmm. were putting that on the flyer. Stevie was sell, mm -hmm. selling out mega uh, venues all over all over the world, and I'm an agent. I know what he gets paid. People, I've booked him many, many 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 times i know what he gets paid and when you can get paid that much you know what that means that means people are willing to pay you that much right that means they're willing people are not and let me tell you something and even with the amount that he charges i've been in situations where he's had three or four offers and guess what he didn't take my offer which means I lost a ton of money too. And he went with another offer because someone offered him more. And that's all. And that's not taking anything from Johnny. Johnny is an incredible artist. He's an asset to any concert that goes out there. You want to have an incredible show? Bring Johnny up on your show. I love when Johnny's on the shows with us because I know it's going to be a great show. That's but me, opinion. myself, I myself, I myself love that fight. <laughs> I thought it was the funniest fight ever. It can't be self-proclaimed. 
It can't be self-proclaimed. It was entertaining to you, though. But was the fight yeah. entertaining to you? Oh, yeah, it was entertaining. It, it's funny, but, you know, and, yeah, and I understand, you know, some people don't like to use the title and the, whatever. It's going to happen. And this is the deal. Like, so people, you'll have people say, Judy is the queen. Yes, to them, she's the queen. Some people will say Susie or the cover girls. Or it's, it's their prerogative. It's what the fans claim. There's people but on I mean, the just, West Coast that... Just look at the facts. Just look at the facts. Who is the female female headliner in freestyle? Can you tell me who that yeah, is? Yeah, but but hold up. But yeah, I don't even think that that's it because I still think it has but it to is. be... It who, has, who, is the no, who is the female headliner no, and who gets again. paid the most in freestyle? Right, right. I, I understand that. But what I'm to saying To me, that's is, the queen of freestyle. To me, that's the queen of freestyle. Right. right. Right now, there's going to be some people that are going to claim that it's Johnny, and you know what? They have that right. I will not. Yeah, if right. you're asking oh, me, I'm absolutely. behind the scenes. There's are those who think who will claim, and you know what? I will never argue with them. I will never right. tell somebody, "No, you're wrong." No, you can't say that. You can't say that they're wrong. They're not wrong to them. That's the that's the king, and, and that's they, it. They that's their that. king. Absolutely. Right. And that's some people the, say George wrong. Lamont, and some people say George Lamont. Yep, exactly. Right? So, you know, there's no, Me personally, there's no right or wrong. I say Lisa Lisa. I say Lisa Lisa right. is the queen of freestyle. That's that's my queen. Doesn't mean she got to be everybody else's queen. Right, right. But if you ask me, that's the queen of freestyle. Yeah. You know? Yep. Just my opinion. Yeah. I think I think it was easier to find to do a king because honestly, compared to... We got yeah, we, we have more females in, in the genre, more female A-listers in the genre than we do males. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know? So it's a little easier, <laughs> you know? Right, because you know right, you have right. the females. The females, you know, they all have they they all hold the crown at, at a certain point. You know? So it's 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 a yeah, sometimes it can get it can get sticky. But you know, right. the the king, just like uh just like uh England has a queen, doesn't have a king. Right. There's a good chance that Freestock could have a king and not really have a clear vision of who that queen is. They right. have, there's a, there's only I'm talking about me as an agent. Remember, I speak to promoters. When they speak to me, they speak to me like they're requesting the king. I'm telling you, it's crazy. But you know what? You know what? To me, to me, Stevie and Lisa even have that aura where they sit well, very right. royally, and and well, people well, come up yeah. to them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They have well, that aura. Perfect. About. If people, listen, me as an agent, I promote and I manage other acts. If people say, okay, I need two headliners, a male or female, like I need the biggest ones that, yeah, I have to go with, with Stevie and Lisa because of the fact that they, that's their place. That's, that's right. really, that's their, that's their place. They, they're on that level. But there's a lot, you know, I love Shannon. I mean, I could go on. Oh, I adore on, Shannon. But, but, uh, I, but, you know, I, I, I just think that the people have to, it, the people have to speak. And I think we but if I said that, power. I would have to say, I would have to say Susie. Susie to me, to me, Susie is the queen of Texas can nobody tell me nothing different. Well, the, you know, the difference with Susie, and let me tell you the and difference. And the Bay Area. Nobody right. can well, so tell me, me that Susie's not queen. Well, well the, you know, what people, what people under, underestimate on Susie is the fact that, number one, she's got like five mm -hmm. albums. She got, people right. just know in certain markets, take me in your arms, but she's got a lot of big records. And not only she's that, got the a lot performance issues on Yes, yeah, since she was a little girl. And also, right. she does, there's not a market in this country. There's no market in this country that she can't do. See, there's artists that cannot do certain markets. They just can't. They won't, they won't, they really won't make any damage. There's not yeah. one. I'm going to say it again. I'm, this is me document this. There's not one freestyle market in the United States of America that will not pay Susie's, first of all, very high price. Very high price, probably the most expensive solo act. Okay. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, with no band or dance, I'm saying, you know, uh, that doesn't have to pay anything, walks home with that money. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And that can do everything from any borough in New York City, way out into the Bay Area of California, up and down, out into Hawaii mm -hmm. and other countries. You know, listen, the money that they offer me for South America for her is unheard of is mm -hmm. beyond she just won't go overseas but anyway i won't go to that topic because that's another topic you know right. but, uh, let me let me check right. this message. yeah i agree with that um 
that Stevie B and Lisa Lisa do take uh, the lead on that, being that, you know, they've had such yeah. mega success and, um, yeah. you know, across the country, yeah. not just on yep. the East Coast, um, across the country. Yeah. You know, I was in California right. listening to both of those artists when I was younger, yeah. um, you know, barely a teenager, yeah. preteen. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we were all fans of them growing up too. We were all fans of them, and they, 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 they played a very, very, very interesting role in the genre. You know, they were very huge artists back then. They broke a lot of ground. Got to realize they were pioneers on a lot of areas. You know, they made, they made us aware of certain things. You know, um, so they're going, they're going to always hold that place, and I would always, I would always give that to them. And I just think, out of respect, you know, out of respect, you know for the industry and for the artists, you know, we have to, you know, we, we it's good to look at that, you know? I, I personally don't, you know, don't care because there's there's certain places that, you know, are not interested in bringing Stevie in. They love Johnny, they'll bring it. You know what I'm saying? To them, that's their king and that's cool and they deserve that. If they right. want to put King of Freestyle on their flyer, I'm never going to object to that. I'm going to be like, you put whatever the right. hell you want, right. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but you know what? Plenty of times, plenty of times they've done the cover girl shows and it says the Queens of Freestyle. Yeah, yeah. You know, but it I've has, to, be, it has to it has to come from them. We never proclaim that. We right. never, right. we never, we let the fans decide. We let the fan in. You know, it's fun. It's cute. Not important though. It's not important. You know. Right. So, but hey, um, I wanna I wanna um close off this subject with this with what we were talking about. You know. So you know, I just want to put it out there, Di Maria. I appreciate you always coming on. Um, you're a good connection for us, you know, going because you you got your ear to the street when it comes to freestyle. You know who's out there, who's new. Um, and, you know, you know, we always the invitation is always open to you um, to reach out or if you have any ideas or any, any advice, anything that we can help you with. We're here. Uh, but we love that you come on because you can really uh, you, you're, you're basically you're in the trenches. You're doing it, you know, Absolutely. and uh, so. So, you know, so what we're, what we're saying a lot of times, you could see it, you know it, you, you, you will agree with that. So we appreciate you coming on. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's it for today, guys. We're going to shut down right now. We appreciate everybody uh, tuning in. Um, this was a good topic. And all these Once topics again, yes, that we talk about. Great topic. Great topic. Yeah, all the, all these topics we will swing back around because these things are ongoing. So the, we're talking about new artists now. Next month, I'm sure we'll talk about it again. Uh, so just always hang in there with us. If you haven't subscribed to us, uh, you know, follow us. Please follow us. Um, also, find, you can find us on all social medias under our names. Uh, please do so if you have any ideas for topics that we can touch on. Now, we have a whole list of topic ideas that we already have, but you might have something that, that really, really resonates. So please feel free to share that. And this is us together trying to build this thing. And I hope more people see it that way um, because that's where we're trying to stay focused on that, you know, but we appreciate you. So we got one more message. Stay safe. Go. God bless. Thank you for joining us. You know, what some people don't know is that uh, Lisa Lisa played in the, in the TV show back in the 90s called Taina which I watched a few times, and I, I really enjoyed it, to tell you the truth. She played a good role as Taina's mom, so I urge people to check it out, you know what I'm saying, and uh, watch it. It's pretty good. Tommy was a fan of Taina. Oh, my but God. But you know what? Absolutely. Lisa's multi-talented. She's yeah. multi-talented. But so I many of the freestyle you... artists are multi-talented, and people don't know that. Now I'm picturing Tommy. I can't get out my sitting in front of the TV with a big bowl of fruit, <laughs> fruit Loops watching Taina. All right, Tommy. All right, man. Listen, I, I was surprised. <laughs> you know, people were, people were, wow, Judy did um, her play. And I thought that was great. But you know what impressed me? Judy did a uh, TED Talk. Mm -hmm. That yeah. impressed the hell out of me. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was dope. Yeah. All right, guys, we appreciate you. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow. Same time, same channel. See you tomorrow. Peace.